Welcome back to College Football 25, Road to Glory, and the legend of Scott Scott. We are coming off a pretty brutal loss to TCU by two. This game went uh, to overtime, and we were out of play call changes. I hated the way the game was called that much. Might play around with um, a different playbook uh, here today. Now, it's a spread offense here at UNC, so I wouldn't think that I'd hate it so much. Maybe it was just the way the game got called. It's probably all random, not really strategy, but when you're into the two-point conversion section of overtime and we take a penalty and we run the ball on first and third, or not first and 13, game in 13, can't, can't have it. We really should have won that game despite how bad we played. Um... I mean, for us, it wasn't the worst game. It really could have been a lot better. A lot of balls uh, off a of receiver's hands with the pressure just too close. But there just really wasn't a lot of space to operate with. Now we have... Oh, I thought we started the ACC play here. No, we don't quite yet. UConn, who we just saw in building the Chippewas. We know that we shouldn't have too many issues with them. But we've struggled to put away bad opponents. And then Duke, who is 0-2 this season. We beat them last year when they i also do believe were winless then it gets really tricky and i think we'll probably get at least through these four games tonight then we've got notre dame who is undefeated right now but unranked and number 16 clemson who has lost a game so they're at least human but wait didn't we play at clemson last year maybe not oh well okay dodge projectiles and hit the targets well that's easy wait what what? What? I'm really confused. Okay. The ball just kind of manifests in our hands. This is going to be really tricky. Oh, 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 we just got that one. Oh, God. Ah! Really tricky with the uh, controller drift that we're suffering right now. We've got bronze. We haven't missed a target yet. Oh! Pfft. Spoke that into existence. I almost walked right into that one. Okay, there we got that. This is kind of stressful. Oh, the balls can hit each other, apparently. Ah! Well, we got hit, so that's what kills our multiplier. That's unfortunate. And that's it. Ouch. Oof! Yeah, I knew we got hit, but damn. So it's actually probably not going to be a training week. Well, I mean, we could. But we do also have the exam in five weeks. We're currently unprepared. Let's just put two points into that, get it up to basic, and uh, worry about XP next week. Welcome to Chapel Hill, North Carolina, and Keenan Memorial Stadium, home of the North Carolina Tar Heels, and basketball may be in the blood, but football is certainly in the soul. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here, and you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see, the Yukon Huskies taking on the 11th ranked team in the land, the North Carolina Tar Heels. So, stop from the defense. On the first UConn drive of the game. And now let's see how useful Devin Roche is going to be today. The usefulness he had for us in the last game, next to none. And God, I forgot I hate our home uniforms and road uniforms jersey matchup. But there's a nice run from Devin Roche. Even though he stayed in the backfield for a long time. So he's not going to be able to do that all game. Which is why a counter play is really a terrible idea. Dude. Devin Roche. Oh, fuck. I hate this play. Devin Roche is quite possibly one of the worst career mode players I've ever seen. I thought I was going to be able to get to the flat. I couldn't. Third down and 13. We're staring a three and out against UConn in the face. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, no. 
Oh no! Bad ball from Scott. Scott. It's to the sideline and a punt. Oh, that. Uh, it shouldn't be killer, but that could be killer. We're going to run the ball with Roche, I guess, on first down. See what he can get us. That's a ball you cannot miss as Roche finds a little bit of space. But if he just cuts it upfield, just cut it upfield. You gain more yardage. You're dancing around in the backfield. Second and seven. They sent a lot of pressure, and Roche goes backwards again. He just can't have back-to-back -back positive runs against almost anybody. Third down and eight. Going to want to go to the, well, the drag. But once again on third down, it's a really bad ball from Scott Scott behind the tight end right in front of him. Well, maybe that win against Alabama was a fluke. Maybe we stink. First down run for Roche. What could go wrong? Why do I even ask? Killing me. Also, yeah, the uh, the fan merch in the crowd is uh, quite generic. Scott on the run. Running back didn't really do a whole lot. Scott got hit hard. But it'll be third and a yard to go. We're going to do the touch pass. This play rarely fails us. Gonna bring Paul Billups across the formation. And Billups to the outside. Billups with a first down and more. To the 36-yard line. That ends the first quarter. So the start of the second quarter, UNC needs to get something going here. As here is Roche, and that will help. A decent, in fact, a very good first down run for Devin Roche. But the coach really likes running him a lot. And, ooh, well, I how that worked, I have no idea. All right, we, we're not running the ball all game. Even though it's a long shot, we do still have Heisman aspirations. <clears throat> Looking for Jordan Ship and zone touchdown. UNC. I saw Ship out there. Looked like he was going to be one on one, and he was. Now, he hasn't been our favorite target so far here in our junior year, but that's kind of been Paul, Paul Billups, but Jordan Ship still just as good. In fact, better than he was a year ago. Oh, we're pinned back at our own five against UConn. Not good. Roche got a yard. We're going to try and pass this football. Hope they don't send a whole bunch of pressure. They did. However, this could be a big play. Jake Johnson up to the 24. They sent the pressure, and we were looking at the drag the whole time. First down, Tar Heels, and Roche found a little bit of a hole for a gain of a yard. And once again, it feels like we're using up these play call changes very, very early. On the well, we threw it to the wrong, wrong drag, wrong dump off, but there was a lot of pressure in our face. We actually got hit on the throw. And it's third down and nine. This should be easy for Paul Billups. He got clobbered. I let him too much, and it's a North Carolina punt. I mean, great credit to the defense. Jesus Christ. Roche, I don't know what the hell he's doing or how the hell he just gained seven yards. It's going to be the two-minute warning, so hopefully now Coach will let us throw this ball downfield. Now, Culliver's pressed. I'm going to send him. Mm, that ain't going to work. Over the middle. Ah, Scott's just been off all day. All day. Not really any good downfield passing. It's third down and three. We're just going to run it. Scott tries to slide, and the ball comes out. Fumble recovered by the Huskies. And now I heard about that happening. You're more likely to cut more likely to fumble when you slide with pressure in your face, and it just happened to Scott Scott. Perry Moorhead for the Yukon Huskies picks it up. 
Well, apparently we're going to be in a fight for our lives against UConn. That's probably a poorly timed pass. Minute 30 to go. Scott wins the Heisman. He can't transfer. I think we're still probably going to transfer. Second down and two play action. We should have a man going towards the sideline. That's intercepted. Our touch today has just been terrible. And now UConn's got the ball at our 37 with a minute 16 to go before half. If this screen doesn't break here, I think we're taking halftime. We're going to get it to Roche. He's got some blocks. He's got a first down. He's out of bounds. I do believe we have all three of our timeouts, though, still. So let's see what we can do. That's going to get picked. We got hit as we threw. Oh, boy. Well, you know, actually from this field position, two seconds left. I kind of wish we would have called just a regular Hail Mary, but we'll see if we get some time. Ooh, hello, hello. Flag is down. Deep ball knocked away. And the flag, I do believe, is on us. That's going to be halftime. And it's a run for Devin Roche on first down. And Roche's dancing around, but at least this time. He made it worth his while. Now, we really probably should have, should be in hurry up right now. However, down 10, we still have some time. Second down and one. Scott just going to try and pick up that first down. And Jermaine Meadows is there. And this play call is terrible. On third down and two. I, I, I want to punt my head coach right now. Third and two. Got a man. It'll be a first down, and we needed that in a bad way. Could not go three and out to start the second half. Two interceptions for Scott Scott in that first half. Oh, that should be an open man, and the, really the first good ball that Scott Scott's thrown all day. Looking to the sideline and almost, indeed, rather down to the 20. Well, so you're saying there's a chance. Austin, also, thank you for the 24 months. There it is, two years. New badge. Wide open on the drag. It'll be a first and goal. Or actually, did we only have one pick and the fumble? That might have been the case. I don't know. First and goal, North Carolina. Devin Roche. Oh, straight up the middle for a UNC touchdown. If Devin Roche did that on any run he ever has, he'd actually be quite successful. However, he spends way too much time in the backfield, and we have the opinion of him that we do. Devin Roche is in the end zone, and this is a ball game again. The defense once again does their job. Really, the only time the defense has let us down is when we turn the ball over. But we'll Paul Billups coming across. Jet sweep. The touch pass. He ran right into the tackle, though. It'll only be a gain of nine. So can we trust Roche on a counter to get a first down? Probably not. Roche, dude. Got grabbed by the jersey, man. How do you not fight out of that? Oh, God, all these. I hate all of these plays. I hate them all. You got the routes that run into each other or some really short curls. However, this one's going to work out as long as Johnson hangs on, and he does. First down, North Carolina. We're also getting a whole bunch more RPOs this season, and those just aren't my style. There's a slant over the middle. That's open. Oh, turn it on the Jets to the 46. Get one more play here in the third quarter. A run for Roche. Ooh, hey, actually some decent ball carrier vision. A cut, gains three, ends the third quarter. Second down and seven. I'd really love to put this in the end zone. Oh, on the drag. Ooh, no, it's picked off. Are you serious? Quarter just stepped up as soon as I threw the pass. 
Well, thank God we got a defense because we certainly don't have a quarterback today. Uh-oh. Billups. Oh, my goodness. He caught that. I have no idea how on a first down pass into really tight coverage. That early in the game, even the last possession that gets picked, they almost have back-to-back -back crazy interceptions. We'll keep it on the ground for O'Shea. He's been somewhat useful here in this second half. God, I hate that play. I don't really particularly like this one either. Have a man open over the middle. That's going to be close to a first down. They're going to call it third and inches. Devin Roche can get inches, right? I ain't even going to mess with the protection. Roche up the middle. He's got the first. Now, to be honest, even though uh, UConn hasn't really done anything unless we've given them the football, I wouldn't mind trying to score, but also trying to take some time off the clock, and there's a negative run for Roche. Well, finally something that isn't a terribly ass play. Plenty of options here. And we got pressure off the right side, right as we saw our third read on that play. The pressure was in our face, and it's third down and 11. Johnson reached out and got it. Big first down for North Carolina. Now, we can limit the risks we take here because at the very least, we kick a field goal to tie the game, but we certainly don't want overtime against UConn, especially after how overtime went the last time we were there. That's going to be the two-minute warning. We should have enough play call changes to not stress this one out too much. Now we'll see what we can do on second and seven. I really like Jake Johnson if he's open. He might not be open. He might be open. End zone. It is knocked away. Third down and seven. This is a home game. I'm really confused as to why I can't flip plays. Oh, boy. Scott going to use his legs a little bit. Tried to dump it off. And it's fourth down. <clears throat> Slants got banged up, and we're kicking the field goal, man. Well, Scott Scott has a minute and 11 seconds to drive the Tar Heels down the field to avoid overtime against UConn. That's a deep ball, a dangerous ball. Safety stepped up, knocked it away, second down. Should have a man. It's a good ball. Broken tackle and pass the 50. 253 yards through the air today for Scott Scott. But not his best game with three interceptions against a team we should have beaten fairly easily. There's a drag. Open over the middle. It's the tight end, Johnson. His fifth catch for 54 yards. And a timeout, UConn. Now, I don't particularly like this. All the way back at the 34, it appears Coach wants to set this up for a field goal. Roche, however, does indeed break one. And a first down and another UConn timeout. They've got one left. I mean, now it's a little bit more safe. I mean, we'll see how it goes. Roche up the middle. Can Devin Roche make another man miss? No. Come on, let me go. Let me go for the touchdown at least. No, we are we're running the football. It appears. Now I just hope they don't go for the field goal with too much time left. There's a flag down, and now you see. Now there's nothing saying they don't hold on. Ah, oh, fuck. <clears throat> Nothing saying they don't hold on a pass play, but goddamn. First and 20. We're on the right hash still. Roche gaining yardage. At least he's up to the 15. I mean, 
Oh, God. Please tell me they wind down clock before they kick the field goal. Are, are we serious? We're in overtime. Got a man. First down. Somehow now not first down and goal. <sighs> so why running the football once we got inside the 35 was a stupid call. But here's Roche looking. He gets to the one. I mean, I hate all of these plays. We got a tight end block at the left side for some reason. And we just got to hope that Roche can pound this in. He should. A dive and a touchdown for North Carolina. So now we have it in the hands of our defense after Devin Roche's second touchdown. This game really shouldn't have been this hard. Shouldn't have taken overtime, but goddamn minute left and coach is like, nah, it's okay. We'll run the ball. Burn their timeouts. Devin Roche's game looks fairly good, but we got to remember the negative runs in the first half as well. Not exactly the kind of game we were looking to have heading into a very difficult stretch of our schedule. Not necessarily the next game against Duke, but then we got Notre Dame, then we got Clemson. Well, hey, Kevin. Hey, man, I think we were in the same class our first year. I would doubt that because I was at Iowa. But nonetheless, I got a hold of the answers from the last year's statistics exam. Want me to send you a copy? It's going to cost us two energy. Man, I fucking hate this, but we're not taking the risk. All right, here we go. Remember, getting hit by the stuff kills your multiplier. Ugh. Ow! Well, well, uh, there was that. I didn't even see that one. We got hit by that one, too. Oh, and now we're missing targets. This is outstanding. How? How? Am I supposed to get it? How? <clears throat> it's in between the two. How, what do you mean we missed? Hit me with all the things. Hit me with all the things. It doesn't matter anymore. Damn. I hit a dummy, I got hit by a thing. This went outstanding. Well, I wanted to train a little bit more, and I think we're gonna be able to. Two energy for that, one for that, that's it. But here in the next couple weeks, we're definitely gonna have to focus on academics, at least get ourselves to prepared. We don't want the GPA to go down, necessarily. Welcome to Wallace Wade Stadium on the campus of Duke University and customarily a trip here involves a journey to Kayville. Instead, you will be engulfed by the Wade Wackos, the Duke fans ready for their Blue Devils to go to work. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. Well, it is still Duke, North Carolina, <clears throat> just on the football field. Scott Scott faces off with Duke on the road in a pouring rain. And somehow we're starting this game inside our own tent. Oh, wait. Uh, we didn't start with the football. I guess it makes sense. Well, I don't really like running Devin Roche a whole lot. But from our own ten, coach isn't going to give us much of a choice. I'm going to try and give Roche a chance to do something. Show us what he's got. Maybe running on first and second down will open things up in the passing game. Who knows? <clears throat> That's Billups, but once again, it's fucking... We're really struggling against zone coverage. Well, it's 7-0 Duke after the North Carolina 3-and-out and a run for Devin Roche. Safety came up and popped him. Gain of 5. Let's see if we can get... Jo nope. We're on the road. I can't hot route. Outstanding. Got a man out there. 
one of the tight ends and a first down for U uh, UNC. I keep wanting to say UConn. We've seen so much UConn over the last couple of days. First down and another carry for O'Shea. We're giving him a chance, but oh my God. Got a magnet in his pants that leads him to defenders. Roche again. What did I say? You can go left. You can go right. Don't go straight into the tackler. Third and five, and we got to bail out Roche. And we can't. We had we had actually had Roche wide open over in the flat. I didn't see him. I'm starting to get the feeling that we shouldn't have come back to North Carolina. Roche on the carry. He found something, but man, oh man, was there a seam for him to take that to the fucking house. He's just too focused on cutting left, cutting right. You're down 14 nothing. It's the second quarter, and we're calling three straight runs. But we've learned that we can't use our play call selections early in the game because we're going to run out. Roche does finally pick up a decent gain and get a first down. We're calling a play call change to run because Coach wants RPOs. No. Roche with a hole, a broken tackle, got a big hit in there. Oh, my God. The only passing plays that are being called are run pass options. The only ones. Roche, straight up into Duke territory for the first time today. I I used I used to play call change just to get an inside run on every single one of them, and it's not even Roche this time. And look what happens: a six-yard gain, possibly the best run of the day. I can't even flip a play. Here's Roche. Uh, he broke a tackle. He somehow picked up a first down. We're just kind of skating by with the run right now, which is not good. I mean, Scott Scott's got no stats, and we're nearing halftime. Who's calling plays? Sharon Moore? We got to fucking try something. Oh, it's the two-minute warning. Outstanding. Second and five. Man open. Bad ball from Scott. Oh, wait a minute. It got caught for a touchdown. Paul Billups somehow brought that in. I thought it was picked. And it was the same thing that just keeps happening to us. Guys stepping up in zone coverage. Man, oh, man. I don't know how he hung out of this. Well, the defense just got cakewalked, and we're calling a screen. This is cool. No blocks. We'll take halftime. I guess we'll see if we can take a shot here on the first play of the second half. We're going to get that out. That's not Roche, but it's a gain of seven. Hopefully getting something going in the passing game will make Coach not call running plays the entire drive we've got Johnson on the drag he's got the first down two back-to-back -back nice passing plays and it's either going deep or screens RPO screens man this is gonna be picked isn't it yep Scott missed the tackle I think we're bad, guys. Roche on the handoff. That's not a first down. Yep, yep. Well, hey, we'll at least get some passing yards on the touch pass. Holy shit. We're down 21 to 6. No, we won't get passing yards. We'll get negative passing yards because we got an unaccounted for defender out there. I feel like my right side of the line has been so incredibly weak. There's Johnson. He picks up a first down. Oh, my God. We're running again. This is absolutely brutal. 
Gain of two. This is pain, man. <clears throat> One of the drag, it wasn't there, tried to dump it off to the running back, couldn't get it out before he got hit. And guess what? Oh, you stopped and you didn't catch it? The amount of separation that he had if he just stayed running straight. Should have a man to the sideline. Caught in a first down. Oh, my God. Can we... You know what? Fine, coach. I'll fucking run one of your goddamn RPOs. And I tried to hit the button, but apparently I'm reading it too fast. We're getting Mo Bamba to Duke to start the fourth quarter. Should have a man. That's a tight window, but he hangs on third and one. Well, third and one, yeah, let's throw it deep. Why not? They got pressure. Oh, look at the space for Scott. Whoa. Can we get out of bounds? Yes, we can. No big hit that time. <laughs> I didn't anticipate keeping that ball, but all of a sudden, everything was open for us. Nobody within 20 yards. Oh, oh, we may have a man. It's stepped up on. Ah, uh, that stunk. 5.49 to go. We got to get on the board and get a two-point conversion very quickly. Nice little looping pass, but it's dropped. Third down. Field goal does us no good. They're sending pressure. We try to fire to Johnson, and we let him way too far. Damn, we suck. And to think my accuracy is better than it ever has been. Like, that's what I don't get. The last two, last three games, we've thrown the ball so poorly, yet we're at the highest accuracy you can have in this game. Johnson has it out of bounds. I mean, I suppose there's still a chance. It's just not a very good chance. I still can't hot route, as expected. Second and six. Going to go to the tight end, see if he can get out of bounds. He had no interest in doing so. So we're going to go hurry up. First down. That's a deep ball. It's got a chance, and it missed him. Our deep accuracy has just been terrible. Especially the last two games. Ooh, this could be a chance. Looking for Johnson. What happened there? What happened on that? Looking for Johnson again, and we absolutely need to have it. Johnson out of bounds up to the 37. Oh, I didn't even really mean to call a play call change there. I was going to call the original play. A thousand yards passing on the season, yet about to drop to two and two. Scott trying to run it. Broke a tackle. Got absolutely popped, but picked up a first down. No! No! Why are we running the football? What are we doing? Why? What are we doing? No, you want to throw the ball. Unreal. What 
is happening? Scott's going to pick up the first down. I mean, that is insane, man. Put it in the hands of our receivers, see if something can happen. I mean, we're, we're, we're playing for pride now because coach decided, hey, let's take a full minute off the clock. There's three guys over there. That's picked. It's going to be three straight games with three interceptions for Scott. Scott, this one's going to the house. Fire our head coach now. Yeah, now you want to throw the ball. From our own 25, now that it's 28 to 6. Yeah, now let's throw the foot fucking football. What the hell? We're just fighting for pride now. Looking for a man. That safety had nothing fucking else to do, so he broke back on it. That's just so fucking dumb. All the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense. They've been so good, man. Dialed in. You could tell they were ready. Please hang on to that ball. They dominated this football game. This is... Why are we bad? Because our head coach... I'm fairly certain his brain is made of cardboard. Let me guess. He dropped it. Of course. Good. What's the point of going for it on fourth down after you ran it on second and third? <clears throat> I don't know how that's complete. I have no idea how that's a completed pass. Shouldn't have been. Scott trying to use the legs. Picks up a first down to the three. Yeah, deep shot from the three. The Tar Heels have it with a first and goal. To the air, it's Scott. Quick strike complete. And he is I want Devin Roche sent to outer space. Want something done, you're going to do it yourself. <coughs> So our heels are going to drop to two and two. We're changing our playbook, man. I'm so over these RPOs. Yeah, the head coach called RPOs or ru straight up runs the entire fucking first half. The hell did we come back to this school for? Oh, now you want to go for two. What an ass backwards way of play calling. Don't deserve that. Our season might just be on life support. <clears throat> After we called a run on game in 13 in overtime against TCU and called nothing but RPOs or runs in the entire first half. <clears throat> 